<clears throat> uh, sending data, sending data, making sure Restream doesn't absolutely terrorizes my crap. And <laughs> of course, why does it work on Facebook? But it doesn't. Oh, there we go. We got both of them online. Beautiful. Excellent. According to Restream, we have both channels live. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. How you guys doing? Alex coming to you with another daily show. I said I was going to commit to give you guys daily content and I'm sticking to that. And for those of you that watch the dating channel, yes, I'm going to be on tonight at 8 o'clock. So I'll probably do this, grab a bite to eat, get right back on it so I can stay on schedule and forgive my voice and sneezing. I have been sneezing nonstop. I think I played with the dog a little too much and that ended up being a little bit of an issue, <laughs> you know, because you, you can't, you, you, I think I'm allergic to him. I'm pretty sure I'm allergic to my dog and I, <laughs> I stupidly, you know, put him near my face and that was that. And now I'm going to be, uh, I took a Benadryl, so I'll either be knocked out or talking all the shit or giving up all the tuning secret, secrets in a while because... Benadryl and me do not get along. Hello, hello, says Mark Weber from Facebook. Hypersync from YouTube. Uh, Glock Schna uh, says, hey, Alex. Sweet. Heading over to YouTube, says Winter K. Sounds great. What's up, big homie? Um, he was telling Tony, y'all, chill. Um, hey, Alex, Puerto Rico en la casa. Oof, says Carlos Arroyo. Carlos Arroyo is one of those guys that is like a legitimate um, fan from Puerto Rico. He reps Lund Racing. He runs the stickers. He does it all. Him, Rami Zaidan, all the people down there. We we love uh, representing the island of Puerto Rico down there, 100%. Velocity Street said, I, I hate how much they shed. He hasn't shed much. He's a pup yet. But <clears throat> um, you just can't put him up to your face. Uh, you play with him and then wash your hands. Life's pretty good. Today, what I wanted to talk about, someone says you're not on YouTube, Holmes. According to this, I am. So fuck you. I'm 100% on YouTube. You know how I know I'm on YouTube? You fucking liar. Bam, bitch. I love people that just fuck with me, you know, and I'm like, fuck you. I made sure I had everything um, dialed in so I wasn't fucking around. I'm, I'm on YouTube. I'm on Restream. I'm everywhere. See, I'm everywhere, and I'm using all of it. So today I wanted to give a couple of shout outs real quick. I wanted to make sure that people um, that I've been dealing with for a long time got their due, you know. Um, number one, it's going to be Michael Davis. Okay, Michael C. Davis has one of the most beautiful vipers gen 2 oh oh guys this gen 2 viper <clears throat> see when i looked at a viper growing up or not growing up when when they came out i never thought to make it look like a drag car then i started seeing a lot of the drag car looking vipers on you know the popular racing channels on youtube and shit and i didn't like how they look like you know i didn't like the kind of tire selection that they had, I, I, I didn't think they were an attractive vehicle. You know, a lot of the guys run a really, really big tire in the back that makes it look almost like a truck, and it's not even, the ride height's kind of funky. Yes, they're fast. Yes, they're blazingly fast. Some of them are six-second cars. Congratulations. This bitch is bad. This is a beautiful example of what a Gen 2 Viper, now is this a GTS, right? I think it's a GTS, what it can look like. This is a bucket list car for a lot of people. A lot of people look at this car and they go, this thing is like my retirement gift. Michael Davis is probably 33, 34, maybe 35. I cannot imagine he's any older than 35. He looks very young to me. Uh, and he might be not even 30. He might be in his late 20s. So congratulations to him to to be able to, you know, this, this is a twin turbo Viper, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, this is a twin turbo stick shift Viper, if I'm not mistaken. And the dude gets shit done. The dude absolutely gets you done. Did a really good job of actually, you know, uh, coming, you know, going through his his dream and establishing, you know, a car that he wanted, twin turbo, making it look legit. The right height, the wheel, the tires, everything looks super legit. And another um, person that I wanted to kind of give a shout out because I know what he's gone through. Like I know the amount of work um, this gentleman has gone through with uh, with his car. Cuban Coyote, Cuban Coyote of um, Valley Racing fame. Uh, if you know Cuban Coyote and you follow me on the YouTube channels, um, Cuban is a Lund Racing customer. He used to have a nitrous Gen 2 car, Gen 2 S550 stick. He's like, can I do a 200 shot? And I'm like, dude, it's going to blow up with a 200 shot. You should just go boost. And you know what? He did blow it up. He ended up going boost. 
It ended up making over 800 ruble horsepower. Then he broke the MT-82. And he said, okay, I'm like at a crossroads. Do I spend the money on a, on a badass stick shift, like a T-56 or something like that? Or do I just you know, get pony up and get an auto. And I was like, well, what do you do most of the time? And he's like, street digs. And I'm like, oh my God, dude. Yeah, I, I mean, unless you're in a stick shift class, I think you're going to have to go with an auto for the street, right? For the street. You're, you you have a turbo car. You want to be consistent. Um, I think you should get a, tur a, 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 a an auto car. And he's like, what about a 6R80? And I'm like, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think a 6R80 is a good street racing transmission from a dig. I'm still, I still hold that that pretty, you know, that thought out pretty pretty clearly and distinctly that a six R eighty is not a racing transmission. Can you race on a six R eighty? Sure. Is it a racing transmission? No. Uh, even after everything you've done to it on the planet, can you race it a whole season? No. Can you race a Turbo four hundred for multiple seasons? Yes. So I said Turbo four hundred. And son of a bitch listened. He's like, I'm just gonna listen to what Alex says. Now, I don't say things without like some weight behind it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sit there and then tell him, oh, get a 400, and then not back him up when he gets it, and then tune it properly and go, whoa, it's, it sucks. Like, if you're outlining a build, if you're a service advisor or service writer at like a hot rod shop, you absolutely have to. Um, you have to. <clears throat> Be serious as to what you're saying because they're, they're they're asking your advice. They go, hey, Alex, I, I want to know what to what to build. So anyway, to get to it, he and I hope um, I hope uh, Valley Racing Channel doesn't copyright me, but if they if they want to, I understand that. But I want to show you Cuban Coyotes race against a Pro Charge Camaro. By the way, great negotiation. Heads up, no bullshit for money. Let's go, bada bing, bada boom, no, no, no this, no that. And it was just like, I want to go heads up with you. And the Camara owner, shout out to him, uh, <clears throat> put up a good fight. But this is Cuban Coyote uh, taking care of business over in the, uh, uh, the West Coast. Enjoy. This is the angle. Look at the look at the pull. Oh, oh my God! He put like two and a half on him. Oh, shit! Believe how hard Cuban's car pulls between the two three shift. <laughs> Look at this. There's, there's second, and here comes the. <laughs> she. Okay, that's enough of that. Hey, uh, Valley Racing, I love you guys. Please don't copyright that. I just want to give you guys a shout out because I want to be able to, you know, keep that. But that thing just rolled. Congratulations to him. Shout out to the uh, Camaro guy too. He's a straight up guy. He wasn't with no bullshit. Uh, straight up race. That thing pulled so hard. Now, when I see that video, I don't go, oh, I did that. Oh, I'm the best tuner on the planet. Uh, me, 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 me. I'm a proud papa. I'm a proud papa because I know how much work he put into it, how much money he put into it, and now he's a player in that part of uh, the United States in terms of the street racing scene, and I and I'm proud of him. I don't I don't look at him and blood racing tune that no. <clears throat> I go, dude, fuck yeah, congratulations. So cool to see him out there racing and having good having a good time and being competitive, winning money, just just making his hobby and his little little little. Piece of heaven come to come to fruition, and I'm I'm proud of him, and I'm proud of the people that um you know trust me to outline a build. I outlined the build. I said, well, you get this, that, that, and he trusted me. He put it on. We tuned it, and look at that. That thing 
that thing was just ridiculously fast. Um, he rolled out on the big end, and he sent me the data log. That's a perfect customer. Perfect customer. He sent me the data log of that race. And I was like, he shifted 1-2 at 6,900, 2-3, 7,200, 3, 4, uh, sorry, th that's it, the Turbo 400. I said, you can shift that bitch at 8,000. But he's like, ah, <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> so, yeah, shout out to him. Shout out to Cuban Coyote. Shout out to Michael Davis for having two super badass vehicles that if you stick through it long enough, you, you, you should be able to kind of, um, you know, make your dreams come true, quote unquote. And I'm really proud that um, those two guys, uh, Michael I met in, in Houston, Cuban I've never met. Um, but I, you know, I'm happy that we, we got to tune in them and we've been through a couple of transmissions, a couple of motors and a couple of power adders, three power adders. And he stuck with a turbo and a turbo 400 and the car is going to be super consistent. Congrats to him. So it was awesome. It was, it was really good. Dunn says he rolled out on the big end, gave him the sauce that mofo rolls the fuck out says DIY sh Shawnee. Um, Camaro had a lifter tick. <laughs> he said, really got impounded. I'm like, I don't think he got impounded. I don't know. No, I don't. I don't think it, you know. No, everything was blurred out. Everything was good. But Cuba Coyote, shout out to him, man. That's awesome. Awesome race to see. And again, shout out to the Valor Racing Channel, who provides pretty badass content. I know some people. There's like beef, not not versus each other. I think Desert Thirteen Twenty and uh, Valley Racing Channel. They all like each other. I think the fans. Oh, Desert Thirteen Twenty comes out with videos faster in Valley Racing. Oh, Valley Race is going to show you 500 hours of coin flips. And I'm like, I like both channels. Sorry. Moral of the story, listen to London. That's kind of what I was getting at Hunter Walker. A lot of people ask us to outline builds. And I, I hesitate. I go, I don't want to outline your build. Because then you're going to you're gonna complain about shit if shit doesn't go right. And this is racing. Racing, you're just constantly changing shit, constantly changing part. You're just throwing money at the car nonstop. So people say, Alex, I want to go eights. What do you think I should do? I'm going to take the path of least resistance. If you were to tell me, Alex, what do I need to do to go eights? I'm going to say, what's your budget and what your vehicle of choice? If you say S550, I'm going to say get a Whipple or a TVS, 20-something PSI, E85 fuel system, 6R80 if you want to go eights. Um... Build the 6R80, some good axles, good drive shaft. The car should go 8s pretty consistently. And some people go, but what do you think about turbos? And that's when I started, that's when I sort of kind of go, why the fuck do I get into this? I just told you how to go 8s easily. Easily. A Whipple, a TVS, 2.6, or a 3.0, 20-something pounds of boost, right? 21, 22. And the bitch will go eights at 3,500 pounds with the 85. And people go, oh, but I want to do it with a... Oh, then I, I absolutely back off. Now, a lot of people are talking about Tesla out there at one of the Cletus's events, beating the shit out of everything. You got to understand, guys, just like Joe Martin says, Tesla is not our competition. Tesla is not our competition. They're beyond us. Their sedan with four doors at 4,500 pounds will donkey gap half of the cars everywhere. Now, that race that Cuban ran, I don't think a Tesla gets him on a quarter on the street. The way he rolled out, I'd love to see if Cuban had a draggy of that pass. I guarantee it's like a low nine or a high eight on the street. But Tesla can do it anywhere. I'm prepped. So they're not a competition. Like they're not going to allow Teslas in like certain classes unless it's an all electric car class it's just at a it's at a different level it's just at a different level 100 percent um isn't a mustang rocking the engage and lund oh <clears throat> corillo so because of the last stream i had issues with um sound i am now uh using um obs and i'm able to bring you el mustang corrido song uh, here we go. El Mustang Corrido. And I'm telling you, it's pretty awesome. It's the best song ever made, by the way. Best song ever. It's got 22,000 views. Uh, high power music. <laughs> you could download the song. Oh my God, I could download the song? Okay, guys. Uh, you're in for a treat. Uh, <laughs> this might be the intro to everything. 
Wait a minute, there's another one? El corrido del Mustang con los butieres de Culiacán? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, let me play this one. And then <laughs> I'll play the other one. Let me see. <laughs> Coming at you, three in a row, and Corrino, the Mustang, Young Taps, featuring Taps Money, yeah, 5 o'clock, Monday, hopefully work went well, 87 degrees here in West Palm Beach, got the guys posted up, it's obviously SGB cold outside, <laughs> yeah, let's go, huh, pisando la Mustang, que repase los gementes, That's enough. <laughs> Again, uh, there's a download link right here. You can down. Look at that. He's got to be tuned by Danol Ganikar. Alex got me here. <laughs> Infamous in there talking that shit. You guys should always be making music together. Rancho Humilde needs to sign y'all. No cap. <laughs> Find me a corrido. I can bump on my Mustang. I feel this. Y'all know the vibes. Orale. Y'all keep this shit going. Don't stop, foo. Says Ve Dolor. <laughs> Shoot, it's dope as fuck. I fuck with these. I fuck with these mixes a lot. Shit go hard, bro. Wow. <laughs> so there's another one here. Let me see what this is all about. It's got 97,000. Before all my viewers just get the fuck out of here. <laughs> hey, Canelo, what do you? <laughs> Canelo, what do you think of those songs? Hey, get the fuck out of here because I'm I'm gonna fuck you out right now, motherfucker. <laughs> you tell him. You tell. Him. How about the? What does a transgender guy think? The baby has been able to latch, but I've not been able to produce any milk. It's okay. <laughs> oh, wow. Great song. Oh, my God. What is happening? Enter Canelo. Shit, bro. Fuck yeah. That second one slaps, cuz. You're just trying to tell you you're alive. Oh, yeah. I am live. Yeah, look at that. Right there. It says, hey, yeah. Because I think I'm signing under, under something else. That accordion goes hard as fuck. Accordions go hard? I had no idea accordions had the ability to go hard. It's like a flute going hard. <clears throat> like, I don't understand when, like, you see metal bands with a flute player, and I'm like, that's really not that metal. <laughs> the <laughs> it's great. The other Mustang video was worse. <laughs> it says 454 Chewy. <laughs> Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. <clears throat> Chevrolet Lifestyle says, how's the family? Family's good. I have, everything's good. It's fucking hot. It's hot down here. It, it was in the 90s again today. Sunny, nice, but man, it was hot. So it was one of those days where you're just like, you know, this is our, our winter time, basically. The way I look at it in Florida in the summer is like our winter because it's just so hot that you're just going to stay inside. You do have the ability to go do shit, but I, it's just too hot to do anything, to be honest with you. The original SB says, what's up, Alex? Um, once I see that Four Innovation sticker in the last video of Valley Racing, I knew it was a Lund tune. He still has an American Racing sticker. American, sorry, American Muscle sticker. I think Cuban has an American Muscle sticker on his dash. So you know he had a Bama tune back in the day. I guarantee he had a Bama tune back in the day. <clears throat> in my Tesla, it is on autopilot getting donuts and automatically pop your show on my screen. I'm behind my payments and always make sure I only charge it to 30%. So it's no self repo. That's a very, very smart idea. If you are behind on payments on your Tesla, by the way, there are going to be a lot of secondhand Teslas out there because the Plaid has become the new YouTube clout chasing vehicle. You remember the Corvette was the clout chaser. Then they everyone bought it and got rid of it. Excuse me. <clears throat> then the 2020 GT500, the clout chasing vehicle. Then it took $500,000 to make it go eights in a pig. And the DCT showed its ass. And unless you gutted it, it was fast. And people got rid of it. Or you blew up your engine three times. And then you're like, okay, I'm way behind on payments. So the Model S Plaid Edition <clears throat> is become the new, has become the new clout chasing vehicle. All the popular YouTubers will get one. And then once that shine has kind of worn off, they're just going to move on to the next clout chasing vehicle. And then there'll be some secondhand 
Model uh, S plaids available. Probably, probably pretty cheap. To me, cheap is uh, what? $80,000 as opposed to one hundred and thirty. Unreal. Damn, I like that accordion more. Nice. Okay, you guys, you guys like this accordion? What the fuck is wrong with... What is happening? You guys like accordion song. Let me see what the deal is. Okay. When the boy They're gonna copyright this shit, I get. No, it's only 97. Chingón el corrido, puro estilo Zacatecas. That's pretty good. I mean, I guess it sounds good. I don't know. I don't know what's good corrido. I don't know what it is. Actually, if you have your uh, Amazon um, uh, playlist or whatever, not a playlist, but if you're on Amazon and say play corrido music, it, it's all that stuff that like kind of like not really singing, just kind of yelling and talking about like, and they swear a lot. Corrido music, they swear like a motherfucker. What's going on, Alex? It's cold 10 already. Uh, so are you going to stay with the daily uploads for a while, brother? Yeah, I'm gonna as long as I can. As long as I can. Alex, don't tell me you got the Delta variant. No, I just uh, played with the dog a little too hardcore. I am allergic to him. And normally if I play with him, wash my hands right away and I'm good. This time he got up all in my face because I was on the ground. And I'm like, uh-oh, it's going to happen. And there it is. <clears throat> I feel like getting drunk now. <laughs> it sounded trash. <laughs> I love the absolute uh, contrast between people that love that shit and people that hate that shit. I have a huge Mexican contingent in terms of fans, like massive. Like if I started making Mexican specific videos, my shit would blow up like like legit because I have a huge following in Texas, Arizona, California, all types of Hispanics love that shit. Love that shit. Um, put dungarees on. That's pure stoqueando. Uh, Alex, that's narco music. Oh, okay, then I'll shut the fuck up. I don't want nothing. I don't. I ain't gonna touch it. Plaid edition is just Tesla's test bed for their upcoming Roadster. Yes. Imagine the plaid that went nine one in St. Louis recently. Nine one one fifty two in St. Louis, in a five hundred pound lighter car. Eight second. Eight point seven. Eight point six second Roadster the fuck you gonna do with that on the street you know how much money that roadster is gonna make i guarantee that roadster won't get any races though it won't get any races once people once people know what they run that roadster won't get any races <clears throat> uh, what do you think about super six motorsports 1400 horsepower v6 3.8 have you ever seen one no nope don't know anything about it super six motorsports v6 3.8 super no haven't seen it um Giveaways are gay. Change my mind. Giveaways are a little gay. I look. I've, I've given some stuff away, and it wasn't for um, subscribers or anything. I never said go to this website, buy this. That'll automatically enter you into to win. You know, a four fuel system or something like that. I haven't done that. Um, I'd say, hey, answer a question or be the highest liked comment on my videos, and you get free ship. No subscribing. No nothing. No no info sharing. Nothing and. I think that's the best way to do it. If you're gonna, if you're gonna give something away, truly give something away. Do not make people sign up for your website. Don't make people sign into your newsletter. Or give up an email. Nothing. If you're genuinely gonna give something away, pick somebody from your comment section and just give it away. I'm good to go. Um, have you ever been, have you ever been put into the Amazon position? No. Uh, I don't like accordions and tubas. I'm from the nine five six, and I'm from the nine five six. Could. Get a GT now and start build or wait till prices drop. Well, oh fuck. I would wait till the prices drop. I think this is false. I think I think this high used car market thing is false. Just like the high housing market. I don't understand how houses can sell 20,000 over asking and the bank when it comes time for them to assess the value of the home, they say yeah, it, it covers it. I'm like, "What? The appraisal like when someone buys a home, let's say the market is stupid right now. The appraisal guy goes, well, what's sold in your area, like a one square mile area? And we're going to base your, your appraisal based on that, your comps. And sometimes if you agree to a price that's like 30000 over asking, the, it meets the appraisal. I go, how? <laughs> Last year that was $260,000. Now you're telling me it's magically worth three twenty? Come on, stop it. Mustangs was like 70,000 miles are going for 30,000 plus. What's your opinion? I think it's false. I think 
It's due to the chip shortage. I think it's due to many shortages. Once everything catches up again, look, you know what's going to happen, guys? It's going to be locked down again. L.A. County in California, you have to wear masks again. That's right. And they give you all this bullshit that, the, oh, my God, you know, people that are not vaccinated are the ones that are the problem. Well, let that's their choice. Let them do whatever the fuck they want, in my opinion. Um, Redbird in the house. Um, Macho Matt, any luck on finding a garage yet? No. Nope. I looked again today, like for a couple hours, on and off between work. Nothing. I'd rather just buy a house or rent a house because I don't want to buy anything right now. Um, but I can rent a pretty big baller house for decent money. And because the garage is going to end up being like 2000 bucks a month. I pay about 1800 bucks rent here. So that's 3800 bucks a month. I'm going to be putting into a garage and my living situation. Why not just rent a fucking badass house or buy a house? Problem is, house prices are super high. So I'd rather rent a house for now and then buy later. But then I'm fucked. I'm, I'm basically getting rid of first last month's security deposit on a $2,700, almost $3,000 home. That's $9,000 down the drain. <clears throat> I remember you used to do Spanish-only videos for a bit. Just didn't get the views. Um, Honestly... Yeah, I, I didn't care. See, there aren't that many Spanish Ford enthusiasts, you know, like like Americans, right? The vast majority are in Florida, Texas, and California. So if I'm not going to go super niche and start talking about Mustangs in a Spanish format, I'm like, I'm going to get three views. Like, this is just a, a waste of time. <clears throat> Uh, bu 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 Alex, please talk to Ford. Tell them to put the Coyote in the Explorer. They're not going to do that. 3.0, high output, uh, maybe hybrid, and they're going to call that the Mustang or something like that. Don Cundiff says, damn, I'm late. Regarding the EPA, what do you think is going to happen to us peasants with hot rods? Um, I, remember, those, I was watching a video of a guy that was complaining that the RPM Act is bullshit because it does not address the guys that want to register their vehicles on the road. And he's right. It doesn't mention anything about registering anything. And then they kind of bleed down to the, you know, state level. But the problem is federal trumps state. So, for example, Florida doesn't have emissions, neither does Michigan. And a couple other states don't either. The federal government can come in and say, fuck you. And Florida can't do shit about it unless there's a law passed specific to that this is like a um what do you call that thing what do you call a uh a state that that it's like a safe haven you know when like bombs and illegals ended up going to sanctuary city sanctuary state this is like a sanctuary state where you can come here and be pretty free and uh, i don't know what's going to happen i don't think the rpm act has a lot of teeth but that's all we got right now It'll at least allow the people to stay in business. Sorry, my nose is itching and I'm holding back sneezes nonstop. Um, it at least allows the manufacturers of parts to make your car go fast, to make the parts legally. Right now, the way they interpret it, the EPA says it's illegal and they're shutting people down. Like I haven't heard anything that's happening with um, PFI speed. I don't know if they paid their fine. Who the hell knows what's happening? It's always funny to me. You have so many homies of Vatos on here that are liberal, even though you tend to be more on the conservative side. Salvador Cortez, if you're a Mustang owner, you have to be on the conservative side. There is no black and white here. I mean, there's no gray area, sorry. There's no gray area. It's black or white. If you like racing, if you like guns, if you like bitches, boozing, drinking, you work hard, you believe working hard for your money, you believe you should be taxed the least amount as possible, there's only one side you should be on. And if you're on the other side based on racism or orange man bad, you 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 got some shit fucked up. Yeah, bro, you need a giveaway for the members. Uh, yeah, that's a good idea, Joe Daniel. Do a giveaway for the members. That's a good idea. That's something I could think about. Yeah, for sure. 100%. Armendaris619 says, thoughts on the Boss 302 intake manifold? The Boss 302 intake manifold is old school, old G, works well. Comparable to the 18 manifold. I think those two manifolds perform similarly but it's all about how you want it to look under the hood like how you want it to look under the hood which one you end up going with how is it a giveaway when you have to pay it's not it's a way of them it's a way of them getting subscribers 
um, newsletter, information, um, people buying shirts, sales. You know, how many times have you seen a, a giveaway last a year? Hell, I know a couple of channels right now that are doing giveaways. Why don't they just give the car away? Like within the next episode or two. Like give the car away quickly. No, because what they do is this. They announce the giveaway. They send you a link as to what to do. You go to that link, you buy a hat, you buy a shirt. Some of those guys have a million plus subscribers. All you need is about 5% of those subscribers to buy some shit and that'll pay for the car and then some. So then you buy a, you don't even buy it. What you do is you put down 5,000 bucks on a uh, $60,000 car and you float the payments long enough until that the money makes sense. And then you can be like, I could pay off this loan and 10,000 on top of that. So you pay off the loan, then you got you made 10,000 on top of that. So you made a $10,000 nut on a giveaway. You know, and I'm like, that's disingenuous, but that's the game they play. You know, that's just, just how it is. Unfortunately, good evening, good evening, says JD Swag. Now I hear chip car shortages, I'm going to be... Only six months to a year, says Scat Pack. <clears throat> Supply and demand. People are moving to South Florida, 100%. People are moving here. The housing boom is happening here, guys. If you have lived here, I've lived here for five years. Never in my life have I seen this kind of growth. Not even in Houston. Ridiculous. Towns that were nothing. Towns that were shit-ass nothing. Now are booming, thriving little shithole towns. And you're like, what the fuck just happened? And house prices are... Through the roof. I got a taste for some queso chips and a sexy biatch named Margarita. Got it. Trying to be funny. Swing to miss. Uh, someone said buy a house. Yeah, that's not that easy. You got to come up with 20% 20, 20 down or you're looking to pay PMI if you don't put 20% down. Ugh, I don't want to do that. You're, you're nuts. That's a mortgage. It is a mortgage. It's a badass mortgage. I'm trying to get these icebreaker mints because what they're doing is keeping me clear. The moment I get stuffed up a little bit. I sneeze, and guys, I don't sneeze once or twice. It's like 17 times, and I'm out of commission because there's just nothing but boogers flying out of my shit. It's unreal. Felter Snatch says, I love these daily streams. Thank you. Pretty, pretty, I appreciate that. Puerto Rican and Dominicans love Hondas. Not me. I'm Ford. Congratulations, Fast Rider. Oof, man, I'm sorry. I'm stuffed up. Hey, Alex, a few weeks ago, I bought a 21 F-150. I overpaid. And I'm having all type of problems with the chips and the configuration. Tell buyers to stay away from the 21 F-150. Alexander Salvia says, excuse me, sorry. Stay away from the 21 F-150. He actually works at a dealership. So stay away from the 21 F-150, according to Alexander Salvia. And I told you guys that a while ago. I said, there is no reason to buy a 21 F-150. If you want to go fast, get an 18 to 20. Plain and simple. Sean Hall, Jesus Christ, relax. No, the red PBH uh, F-150 is not going to be done. It is not priority. He does it on his off time, and he doesn't have a lot of off time. It could take a year. So do not wait with bated breath if uh, that turbo. It could be a year. So relax, buddy. Sit back, relax. It happens when it happens. Sanctuary State, got it, got it, got it. Delta variant. <laughs> I, I, no, I can actually, no, see, I own a couple of Mustangs and a fair amount, so I have taste. Definitely not COVID. If I had a Camaro out there, yeah, I'd be like, yeah, it's the Delta variant. Um, I'm getting all my cars registered in Texas. Big F to Cali. Don't say that um, loud because I was surprised as to how aware government agencies are on social media posts. Like they know what you're doing, period. Ford Master 50 says, I'm thinking of doing something different with my GT350. What do you think of a 250 shot direct port standalone fuel system? I think that's a really stupid idea. There you go. You will blow it up badly. You want to be different? You're going to blow it up different. Don't do fucking nitrous over 150 shot on any coyote. Plain and simple. Ask Cuban Coyote what happened. <clears throat> Thanks for these streams, Alex. Your voice seems a bit different. Sore throat. Really, JD Swag? Really? Really? Come on. <laughs> as far as tuning for Catalyst setups for the track, how is Lund handling that? Oh, okay, 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 EPA. Yeah, yeah, no problem, EPA. I'll let you know how we're doing that, EPA. What the fuck is wrong with people? Like, th that's like self-snitching, you know? 
<coughs> if you remove cats from your car that came equipped with cats, no tuner can legally do anything to shut the lights off. Will it run well? Yes. Will it make more power? Yes. Will it hurt the car with the check engine light on? No. Who do you have to thank for that? Ford. Because like I said last week, if you take the, DP, the, the <clears throat> DPF off of a uh, diesel truck, goes into limp mode, it doesn't drive. You take the cats off of a brand new Mustang, just throw the check engine light and it makes 15 more horsepower. So don't blame us, blame Ford. <clears throat> Stang mode was bitching that his giveaway wasn't doing good. What do you mean wasn't doing good? I don't understand. See, I don't even know if that's real, Degenerate Spurg. You have to send me a link and a timestamp. What do you mean isn't doing good? It's a giveaway. How is your giveaway not doing good? Give it away. Give. So don't don't call it a giveaway. If it's not a giveaway, call it a buy away, a layaway, a layaway away. Don't say giveaway because you're not giving anything if you're relying on people to pay for it with subscriptions and shirt sales. That is some disingenuous, absolute bullshit that throws me like it just blows my freaking mind. Macho Matt says my TJ67 is starting to stick. On a Gen 2R. I'm almost done with putting together my built motor and I'll eventually be putting a Gen 3 on it, 3R on it. What throttle body can I get and how <clears throat> and grow into it? The VMP sells a 160 something and a 137. The 137 is like the old uh, Super Cobra Jet throttle body monoblade. You could try that guy, but I don't have a lot of confidence in big throttle bodies anymore. Honestly, I don't have it. I don't, I, the Kenny Bell throttle body that I have, John Sr. worked his magic with it internally. And it's been great. The anything else that's that size tends to just fail safe. The Whipple uh, 268 sucks. The elliptical sucks. The 150 sucks. Um, the 132 is good. The 132 is their best auto body, in my opinion. Where 150 is absolute trash. Sorry, guys. It's trash. You know it's trash. Things idling like at. We're commanding a, a stock, you know, point, point oh six, and the things like at point oh 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 one. Like, dude, it's, it's the throttle body is fucked. <clears throat> That's what Street Speed 717 does. Does he give it away or does he ask for people to buy shit into the giveaway? I'm going to scroll all the way down. Um, Jared Wells says, Alex, that Fox body sold from underneath me. So still on the look for another car. Gotcha. Um, it's a raffle. Exactly. It's a raffle. If you're relying on the people to buy something from your website, do not call it a giveaway. Call it a raffle. Opinions on Ortiz performance. Um, I don't have any personal opinion on Ortiz. I do pay attention to some of the shit he says because once in a while he throws a little snipe action in there. A little snipe, like a little dig at Lund. Not not so obvious to make me react, but I know what's going on, so I monitor. But I don't know him on a personal level. Seems to have a good customer base, and I hope he does well. But I definitely uh, watch what people say just in case they get sideways. Single turbo or twins on the 5.0, either. It doesn't matter. Honestly, uh, uh, Cuban Coyote's car is a single. And you saw how that sucker rolled out. It was ridiculous. Giveaway raffle is illegal. They will get popped at some point. Mike's garage. Um, I don't think so. I don't think so. Because if you say, I'm giving this car away, oh, the giveaway is basically buy a shirt and you are automatically entered. That is not a raffle. You're not buying a raffle ticket. You're you're basically buying a product for a chance to win a Mustang or, or whatever they're giving away. That's no different than like anything else. That's no different than any other kind of like anything, like any kind of raffle. Like at that point, every raffle is illegal at that point. Yeah, a lot of them are like that. Buy a shirt to enter to win a giveaway. How do you, buying a shirt to enter to win a giveaway is not a giveaway you are raffling at that point. I'm tuned by Ortiz Performance. He's cool as fuck. Says, okay, there you go. Good for you. Uh, Matthew Goodall says, thanks for your help with the initial Pro Charger tune. Let me uh, highlight that comment. I can't highlight that comment because I am on OBS. Uh, today, sir, just locked down some dyno time for later this week. Nice. Let me know on the ticket. Just the giveaways are 100% legal. Exactly. That's what I thought. They are audited by an external company. Read the, the fine print on their merch sites. Exactly. But it's douchey. Right, Jay Rubin? It is douchey to call it a giveaway because it's not a giveaway. 
You're not giving anything away. You're hoping that your shirt sales surpass the price of the part that you are giving away. That's a raffle. I have a 19 GT with the same cam phase ratio you had on your GT. Should I get it fixed on the warranty or just say fuck it and put a turbo on it? I'd get it fixed on the warranty first, then put a turbo on it, 100%. I took my intake off and stuck a in right on the throttle body. You knew the, seven, the new 747 intake uh, selling like hotcakes. <laughs> 747. Talking all that shit. <clears throat> 1150 Coyote says, I have free-flown exhaust, JLT85. What else do you recommend on my car without a CJ and cams for boost? Uh, uh, first gen 50. So you got free-flown exhaust, JLT and E85 tune. You got long tube, yeah, long tubes. And, and if you don't have long tubes, you're going to have to get the car light. <clears throat> you're going to have to lighten the car because you're either going to need boost at this point or just weight reduction, a ton of weight reduction. GTHP says, it's a buy and raffle. I think they absolutely should just say that. I think the people that do giveaways should say, hey guys, how you doing? We're doing a buy-in raffle. Don't say giveaway because you're not giving anything away. Stop it. I quit entering giveaways. Just a waste of money. I only buy the shirts like I like now. Exactly. Well, it's Street Speed 717. So, says David Espinosa. I don't know anything about the dude. I don't know anything about that Street Speed dude. I don't know at all. I don't like the sunglasses he wears, but I mean, that's about it. I'm just like, ah, I, you know, again, it's not geared towards me. And th th those channels are geared towards other people. But he has a successful channel, so I'm, well, I'm not going to hate on him. I just don't like the fucking glasses. I'm like, why are you wearing sunglasses? <laughs> I hate people that wear sunglasses. It ain't that sunny outside. I'm going to start my P1SC. I'm going to send my P1SC through the moon and see what blows up, what it blows up at. Don't do that. Hunter Walker says you got to buy zero to win like you don't. No, with the mercy. Wow, I don't know what the fuck he just did there. Merch. Oh, Hunter Walker meant merch. VCMD Product Propulsion says, My Lincoln has a comp cam modified box manifold with two top monitored 65 millimeter throttle bodies and Lincoln switch for four more injectors to put in the box that are sequential. Congratulations. I don't even know where the hell he came off with that shit. Um, my boy just won a GTR just from buying a t-shirt. It's not too bad for the deal, really. But that's a raffle. I, I, look, if you want to buy a shirt that says like, you know, some logo, right, um, to enter to win a vehicle, good for you. But I, my issue is they're not giving anything away. They're saying, guys, pay me so that I can cover the nut on this thing I'm going to give to someone that's probably not going to be you. The Holy Trinity, light in the car, exhaust, and gear. If you read the fine print, it always says no purchase necessary. You can buy... You can enter by writing a postcard. They'll have to do that. So technically, it's not a raffle. Understood, understood, understood. Afraid of Diaz says, a lot of winners in the past have admitted to gambling 10000 to 20000 on shirts to win. Like, there's raffles that guys put up for vehicles and stuff. That, that, one, that one can get sketchy. So you got to be careful when you do actual legitimate raffles on cars because that, that can be a problem. I've entered a bunch of them. <laughs> Thoughts on Mustang tuners, GTR performance over here in SoCal. Never heard of them. No, don't know who GTR tuners are, so I don't know anything about them. <clears throat> v Roy Roy says, Orale Holmes. Orale, man, my shit is all fucked up. I unsubbed everyone on YouTube who does car raffle shits, annoying with their shitty merch. If I have a giveaway, I will give something. I have done, I gave away a MFP crank support. Shout out to Matt Coates. Vindication is sweet, isn't it, Matt Coates? Everyone talking shit, everyone jumping ship, and then the truth comes out. And they all look fucking stupid. Matt Coates, shout out to you. Jay Rubin, according to YouTube policies, raffles are not allowable with the word because of the monetization. That's probably why they use the term giveaway. Well, then they're lying, Jay Rubin. They're lying. 100%, right? Are they lying? Oh, it's a technicality. Stop it. Stop it. That's why I hate those channels. Um, Alex, how's the Shelby in the garage? Chilling. <clears throat> I like how people think like I'm like constantly racing it. It is summer here. No racing happens in the summer in Florida, guys. I don't know what you guys think happens in the summer in Florida. Nothing. Like I'm, I'm blown away that people vacation in Florida in the summer. No, no, no. You come here in the winter when it's 75 degrees and gorgeous. You come here in the summer and then you're going to go, Florida is so hot and disgusting. That's like me going to Massachusetts in February and complaining that it's cold. Let us have a shot of Tony's poop giveaway. Exactly. I'll give away plenty of his poop. He produces a lot of that stuff. Alex, check out Dion Gas Racing's channel. It's pretty much entertaining. Takwaja truck stuff. Fast Hippo ZL1. Um, it's just a six. Mustang lifestyle. All of them. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, you. Uh, 
I never subscribed to them, <laughs> let alone unsubscribe to them. I come to Oklahoma. No, I'm good. I, I'm good. I'm good. I appreciate it, though. <laughs> no rice was just saying, yeah, fuck that heat and humidity. In the summer? I don't, I don't race in the summer. The cars are put away. You don't race in the summer. You just get through the summer here. Uh, summer in Florida is, is la putis. Exactly. Summer in Florida is to smash chicks. You meet up, go to Square Grouper, get them drunk, and then you get ready for about November, and then you forget about chicks up until about April because you're racing. Um, also, do you plan on putting a CJ on the truck anytime? No, fuck no. A CJ on the truck? No, unless I put an 8,000 stall converter in it. Fuck no. Alex has some giveaways. My buddy Wendell was the one that won the crank support. Oh, cool. Awesome. So what did I give away? Crank support. I gave away um, SK Performance cam chain guides. Um, I was going to give away an RXT clutch. Like I was thinking of giving that away, but it's a used RXT clutch, so I wouldn't sell you a clutch that's going to break your transmission. A C8 Z06 will gap a 350. Yeah, I believe so. Sure, absolutely. I mean, stock for stock? Yeah. Probably. It's pretty, oh, probably pretty close. Shit, I'm, I'm trying to think. What's a stock uh, 350 run? 12.2, 12.1. You know, if you can get into the 11s, that's pretty sick. <laughs> Where's the link for the membership to support the channel? Go on a computer to the, my channel and it'll say join right there. Alex, what fuel cell tank do you run on your Ferma? I'm doing a Coyote Swap 84 LTD Fox chassis. Would you be worried about running an unbaffled stock fuel tank? I might do a fuel cell in the trunk. This is what I run on my car. I'll show you right here. Oh my God, I can't type. I'm gonna take a nap after this. And there you go. Behind the bars race cars is what I run for my tank. For those of you that give a shit, uh, my Fairmont has a behind the bars, behind bars race cars tank. And I actually have this guy right here. Uh, no, no, no. I'm trying to think which one I have. It doesn't have that on the front. Yeah, I think it does. Yeah. Something like that. That's what mine looks like. So I have a behind the bars race car tank. It's baller. I'm not going to lie. And I got it from Senior. Shout out to Senior. Um... Hopefully, they'll have a big announcement pretty soon the next couple of days. So, basically, my shit looks just like that, you know? And my fuel system is a hat in the center, and I just drilled a hole in the center and, you know, just did my thing. So, yeah, basically looks just like this, a behind-the-bars race car tank setup. Uh, you could go with a Cobra tank. Call, call Power by the Hour. They'll be able to set you up with a Cobra tank, a hat, everything. They got everything. So, if you don't know what to get, call them call Power by the Hour. Something about releasing a teaser. You got the COVID-19? No, I just uh, played with the dog too much and I'm severely allergic to the dude. Uh, what was teased today? Uh, da, 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 this YouTube, I am the boogie, is like the East Coast Valley racing. It's crazy how different it is over there. They race a lot of Beamers and Hondas and close. Uh, okay, whatever. What's the difference? Z06. Uh, is the Z06 announced yet? So they said they showed a teaser. So they're talking about the Z06. Okay, got it. I just saw a teaser. Only spec I can find is a flat plane V8. Oh boy, I'm gonna release that video where I talked all the shit saying one day Chevy will have a 32 valve overhead cam flat plane crank V8. And the nut riders are gonna be all over it. The Chevy nut riders when they were saying, Oh, you coyotes got too many fucking chains. And then I said, watch them develop a cam low idle tune for that Z06. Oh, baby. Nostradamus is here. Uh, imagine not caring about track times. <laughs> Alex, heading to the to Panama City for a week. Anything I should know in advance for things not to do in that area? Yeah, don't go. Don't go to Panama City. What the fuck are you going to do over there? Fish? Get a fishing charter and fish? Spearfish? What the fuck are you doing? Panama City Beach. It's not MTV Spring Break 1999, 1995, 96. It's Panama City Beach. It's probably nasty. I'll pass on that shit. Exactly. Wyatt Aaron says, don't go to Pan Panama City or Daytona. People that go to Daytona, like imagine you're driving down from like Ohio. And you're like, oh my God, let's go to Daytona. The Daytona 500 happens there. Bike week happens there. Oh, man, it's so fucking truck week happens there. Then you take a left if you're going south, or you take a right off to the exit, take a left, go over the bridge, and it's 
Meth House, Smoky Bones Restaurant, Chili's, Meth House, Meth House, Popeye's Chicken, Walgreens, Meth House, Meth House, Meth House, Crack House, Trap House, Smoky Bones, Longhorn Steakhouse. Get the fuck. Imagine you hit. You hit Daytona, and the first thing you say when you actually go down that first fucking block, you're gonna be like, "Hey, yeah. get the fuck out of here!" Because I'm I'm gonna fuck you out right now, motherfucker. Daytona sucks. Daytona is trash. Say it louder for the ones in the back. Any place that they say Panama City Beach and the Riviera Beach where I live. I will get fucking shot for wearing the wrong color. I will get shot for looking at someone the wrong way. Fuck that. The moment you see a Dollar General, put your head on a swivel. It's like Dollar General, Popeye's Chicken, Metro PCS. You are literally in gang territory right there. You're probably in the middle of a gang turf war when you go into Dollar General or Dollar Tree. And you're like, oh shit, son. I just want some six slits and some atomic fireballs. What's the big deal? Nah, cuz you were in the wrong fucking sneaks today. You got them. You you got the wrong. I got to take your sneakers. <laughs> Honey, we should go to Daytona. That's where. Oh, maybe we should go to Daytona because I love NASCAR. Get fucking assaulted in the in the in the. Uh, you're gonna go gas up at the at the Chevron next to the Daytona uh, Daytona Speedway. And oh wow, it's so it's so historic. And some guys like, give me your fucking money, give me your fucking money, get the fuck out of here, give me your fucking money. How much you got? Do not go to Daytona. It is fucking trash. Jay Rubin, there's cat. Their cat is pretty good though. Okay, <clears throat> Nestor Berrio says Elena Engines is best modular builder. Uh, I'd say them and Keith Ray Wonder Racing and Fast Forward Engines, and then what's the other guy that used to work for Whipple? He's so legit. Oh, what's the guy that used to work for Whipple? Will Rollins? Forget I forget the name of his company. I want to shout them out. Oh man. Fort Myers Beach for the win. Enjoy the beautiful meth needle filled beaches. 65 year old cougars with tits hanging to their knees. And everyone in the family knows each other's anatomy. Exactly. I can't wait to go to Fort Myers. I love the Red Sox and I want to watch them at spring break. Hey, honey, you want to get up real early and watch the sunset? Okay. And then you get up really early right before like a spring training game to go watch the Red Sox. And you, you're stupid enough to go to the beach really early. And you're like, oh, wow. Is that a sea turtle? You know, you see something in the in the sand going like this. Yeah. And you're like, oh, honey, it's a sea turtle about to lay some eggs. That's a crack addict thinking he's a sea turtle going, I'm going to lay some eggs over there real quick. <laughs> he's meth. He's on waka, flaka, everything. He's on all this shit. And y'all motherfuckers are like, oh, Florida sucks. Look, there's a reason I'm in South Florida, guys. South Florida. Nowhere else is good. It's all trash. Um, Alex, is it normal for to get a Corvetter flare? Corvetter, converter flare with a 4200 stall while cruising? It depends if it's locking or unlocking. Right? If it's locking or unlocking, it might flare a little bit. <laughs> Nestor, they like it. Stop, bro. I'm dying. Yeah. Yeah. Destin is definitely nice. <laughs> Destin is nice at the beach. You go in a little bit, there are loose pit bulls. Roaming the streets because so many people bred them bitches and there's just low hanging titty pitbulls. I'm like, oh, there's a low hanging titty pitbull. That means it's like, it's bad. <laughs> it's like watching, it's like, I can imagine it's like going to South Africa and seeing hyenas and you're like, okay, we're, we're somewhere we shouldn't be. The moment you see a low titty having pitbull, meaning that that thing is either pregnant or, or popped. You're like, let's get out of here, honey. Let's get out of here. Don't stop at a Dollar General. Don't stop. Don't stop. South Florida equals booty paradise. <laughs> Nestor Berrios. He gets it. Look, if you watch a Fresh and Fit podcast with those guys, those bitches are all bad. They're bad. They're beautiful women. Miami. Now, I hate Miami as a city. But, man, I love the scenery. Waka Flox Flame, I'm the head of the motherfucking st <laughs> state. <laughs> Is Clearwater cool? A lot of Puerto Ricans in Clearwater. A lot of Puerto Ricans.
Uh, if you go to, <laughs> if you go to, this is this is what happens when you go to um to uh, Clearwater Beach. You know, you just you just wanna you just wanna hang out with the family. You're hanging out, and then all of a sudden you see a Honda Accord come by, and you hear this. Get the fuck and <laughs> you gotta get the fuck out of there. Hey, because get I'm the fuck out of here fuck because I'm, I'm gonna fuck right you out now. right now, motherfucker. You tell him, bad bunny. <laughs> hey, get the fuck out of here because I'm gonna fuck you out right now, motherfucker. Let me give some milk. Get out of there. Not been able to produce any milk. Get out of there. It's like going to Orlando. Oh, Orlando's pretty awesome. No, it's not. <laughs> Motherfuckers get shot there. It's full of eight. For whatever reason, Asian people are really into Orlando. They wear the bunny ears and shit to CVS. And you know the guy in the front of the CVS flipping the cash for gold sign has a Mickey Mouse head on. He's like, oh, oh, oh get in there. It's cash for gold. Mickey Mouse. Then he takes a smoke break, takes his fucking head off. He's like, oh, where the fuck did it all go wrong? Oh, I knew when. When I visited Daytona for bike week. Puts his Mickey Mouse head back on, flipping the cash for gold sign. Fuck that. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, every person that visits me in South Florida that is a Florida native goes, holy shit. It is different down here. I'm like, yeah. I remember uh, Donnie, who used to work for VMP. One of the most weirdest fucking dudes I've ever met in my I'm the weird one of the weirdest dudes I've ever met in my life. St. Louis, tall, goofy kid, nice guy. Whatever. We had some dino days to do down here. And I was like, you're gonna like South Florida. He's like, well, it's Florida. It's the same shit. I'm like, you're going to like South Florida. He goes, Alex, when I got to Jupiter, the highways got really clean. <laughs> and the trees were not overgrown and nasty. Everything was kind of trimmed. Highways were big and everybody was going 100 miles an hour. I go, yeah, we got shit to do here. Plan B omelets. Wow. So true about Orlando. Laughing my ass off. Talk more about vipers. <laughs> I don't know shit about Vipers. I'll be honest. I know that uh, Michael Davis's car is super badass. Um, and I just wanted to give him a shout out. But when it comes to like Viper specific knowledge, I don't know a goddamn thing. I tore down 300 houses last year in Daytona. And they're clearing up the place to get rid of the bumps. That's usually what happens, Dustin's Customs, right? What happens is they let the house prices get down to such a level that then a, a multinational company buys them all, levels them, and they put up a uh, Sloan's ice cream, a theater, uh, some kind of improv, and a cup brio, and you know, like nice restaurants, and you know, co co Cooper's Hawk and stuff. And then they call it City Place everywhere. Alex saw medication and tripping funny as hell today, though. It, it's the Benadryl. It, it, Benadryl pretty fucks me up. I'm in Orlando right now for vacation, headed to Destin for a week later. Very true on the Asians everywhere. I'm going to look out for the Disney cash for gold guy. Send me a picture. If you find Mickey Mouse flipping the cash for gold sign. Oh, I'm going to find Let me see. Mickey Mouse ha a costume sign flipper. <laughs> I'm going to lose my mind if I can find it. <laughs> oh, fuck. Let me see. Uh, shit. There, dude. I came to Orlando one time to visit my brother. Story time with Uncle Alex. Um, <clears throat> and he, uh, oh, you know, you should check it out. You should, you, should, you should take the car and, like, drive around and see how you like it. Because, you know, I was thinking about moving to Florida, like, in the uh, 2005, six around there. All right, cool. So I visit him, and I take his car out, and I drive. And it's just, like, strip mall, strip mall, strip mall, strip mall. Take a left. Strip mall, strip mall, strip mall, take a right. Strip mall, strip mall, strip. And I'm like, okay, that can't be just it. Take a left. Strip mall. I'm like, 
Wow, a lot of strip malls here. Okay, whatever. So then I wanted to get, I forgot I forgot to get a toothbrush when I flew down and toothpaste. So I said, I'll just get one of those disposal, you know, those travel packs. So I go in there and Mickey Mouse is flipping the cash for gold sign. And I'm losing my freaking mind. I'm laughing so hard because everything is Mickey Mouse in that motherfucker. If you go to Ron John's surf shop in Cocoa Beach, they got a whole goddamn Disney section. Disney mugs, Disney bracelets, Disney underwear, Disney... Oh, what the fuck? So this motherfucker is flipping the cash for gold sign. And then you could tell that he hates it. And it was like 90 fucking five degrees outside. It's hot as fuck. Orlando is nasty and hot. There is like no breeze in that, pla in that place, right? So then he takes... A I go in. I do my thing. I come out. He had taken his head off a.k.a. Mickey Mouse, took his head off. He put it on some bushes, and he's just taking a smoke break. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, no, I'm not moving. I'm not moving to, Ar I'm not moving to Orlando. I I'm, I'm going to pass on Orlando. That was 2005. It has not gotten better. It has gotten way worse. Okay, there's a... <laughs> Selim says, I'm about to go to Orlando for college. Why don't you hit up that lake and get accosted by the fucking... Uh, by, the, by, the, by the geese... What's that lake in the middle of Orlando? That shit ass lake? Lake, lake, fuck my ass. Of Orlando. It's like Eola. Lake Eola Park, right? You go, you know what people do on Google, right? They go, oh, what, what's cool to do in Orlando? Let's look it up, honey. Okay, sure, no problem. And then you go to the Google machine and you're like, oh my God. Lake Eola's gorgeous. Oh, let's go there. Oh, fucking rainbow. Oh, my God. Lake Eola. What the fuck am I looking Oh, Lake Eola's beautiful. This is so... Honey, we got to go to Lake Eola when we go to Orlando, right? And then you get there. And they have feeders for the geese. And there's goose shit everywhere. And they come right up to you and talk all that shit. And you're like, I just want to feed the cool geese. And it's ghetto. Like the people, there's bums at all of the stairs, under the trees. There's just bums all over the fucking park. And these geese are just goose shit. And they're in your fucking face. And you're like, I got to get out of here. I got to get out of here. Lake Eola is like the Connecticut River. Um, what about St. Augustine? Okay, I really like St. Augustine. The only... <laughs> The only issue I had with St. Augustine is like, people were like, you got to go to the Fountain of Youth. And I was like, what? They're like, yeah, the Fountain of Youth is in, um, in St. Augustine. Now, St. Augustine is an old Spanish colony, and it's old, and it's really pretty, really pretty, really, really nice small restaurants, hole-in-the-wall places, really nice. Kind of reminds me a little bit of um, New Smyrna Beach, the nice area of New Smyrna Beach, and like the beach beach. And um, I, I, okay, let's go look at this stupid fountain of youth. And I go there, and it's like next to Larry's house. I'm thinking it's going to be like this shrine, this like cool looking thing that's surround. No, it's like take a left at the street, take a right. Behind that guy's backyard is the fountain of youth. <laughs> And what I don't like about North Orlando, North Florida, Central and North, those ugly ass trees that look like they got snot coming out of them. They're disgusting. Spanish willows or whatever the fuck they're called. They're disgusting. They're gross. They're shit. But no, real talk. Make the best of it and enjoy it. I'm talking shit for a reason. Got it. Is this a 5-0 stream? <laughs> Yo, just getting out of work. Hey, it's a stream about anything. We talked about Cuban, we talked about setups, and we just started talking about what I think about parts of Florida. That's the nice thing about this show. Talk about whatever. Spanish moss. Thank you. Not Nestor Verrios. Those are the most disgusting trees. I hate them. I hate them. Um, I like fishing in the Connecticut River. Best place in Florida. Go on a fishing tour. The Keys. The Keys. Go to the Keys. The, the motherfuckers will set you up, bro. You pay for the charter. Get like four or five of your boys. And you just catch snapper and fall, you name it, you're catching it. Um, do you use steroids? Uh, no, but I appreciate you thinking I do. I mean, I really do. Spanish moss equals la puta de tu madre in Cuban slang. <laughs> this was not paid by the Florida Tourism Council. <laughs> Alex Slick's spa is moss sap. Okay. 
Soup is my Tahoe or 5 I think Florida invented mosquitoes. Holy shit, yes. A lot of mosquitoes here. A lot of mosquitoes here, especially in the summertime. Your shit will get eaten up if you're a certain blood type too. I don't know why, but a certain blood type just get fucking mauled. The Keys, got it. Thanks, bro. It's hard to beat the Keys, right? Keys is made for leisure. You can see sunrises and sunsets. It's fucking a little chin island. Um, restaurants, you're going to pay big money to rent down there, like a Airbnb or a hotel. You're going to pay big fucking money. But it is beautiful. If you want to just get drunk, get fucked up, go fishing and see beautiful sights, it's hard to beat the Keys. Um, bu- 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 okay, we got that. We got that. Alex, Alex licks that. Okay. However, they didn't know that you have to boil the moss to kill the chiggers that reside in the moss or whatever. What's the best way to do a data for being in a third gear watt pull? Yeah. Third gear watt pull. If it's auto, if it's manual, do a fourth gear watt pull because fifth is one to one on an MT82. If it's a 18 and up, fourth is one to one on an MT82. And the fighter plane roaches are great. Yeah, they call them um, Road Rage 860. They call them palmetto bugs down here. I know a freaking roach when I see one. I'm like, this is a cockroach. This is a cockroach, you know? Have you been to California? I have not. I hear it's beautiful, but, you know, it's going to shit uh, in terms of, um, what do you call it? Um, policy. Um, I had a lot of fun at South Padre Island. <laughs> Alex, so I take it this in Panama City, Florida trip is going to be a hot mess. I'll report back in two weeks. Pat the one. Let me know how it goes. Just don't go to a Dollar General and get six licks. You got to be wearing the right color shit. If, if you don't know what color to wear, don't go. Um, they came from PR. <laughs> shit. Bury those cockroaches. The keys are gorgeous. Hotels are trash. I understand what you're saying, my cunt, but they're expensive as shit, dude. They're, they're, you know some people like that old flavor? Like, I don't give a fuck about any of that bullshit. I'd like to ride a motorcycle down overseas highway. Got it. Uh, can you catch a venereal disease too? You can catch you can catch a lot in South Florida. You can catch you can catch everything. The HIV, you can catch it all, bro. All right, guys. I'm going to get ready to get out of here because I want to make the streams no more than an hour or so. It's been an hour and seven minutes because it's a daily stream. So I'm not going to give you an hour and a half of this stuff. We really talked about... The Keys, Florida, and Mickey Mouse, and how everything is trash in Florida, except where I live. <laughs> and even where I live, it's kind of trash. It's Riviera, whatever. What are you going to do? All right, I'm going to be on tonight. For those of you that watch the dating channel, I'm going to be on tonight. I'll be on at 8 o'clock, talk some stuff, some stuff that happened. For those of you that watch this, I'll be on tomorrow, 8 o'clock, not 5 o'clock, because tomorrow's the regular show where I enable the super chat and the super stickers in case you want to, in case you want to support the channel that way or become a member, and we do nothing but live stuff on youtube and i'll monitor it on the youtube live streaming uh situation so i can actually see the questions put together basically this is how it looks on my and if you don't know what that looks like this is the youtube side of things 383 people on youtube gotta love it gotta love it all right guys i'm gonna get out of here for those of you that watch the dating channel i'll be on tonight at eight o'clock hang out and then tomorrow i'll be on at eight o'clock PM on this uh, live stream, the Yolo Douchebag page on Facebook and the Alejandro Flores page on YouTube. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great rest of your day.